I'm running in waterfalls of your vomiting snack patrol. Mm, swimming in Oreos, and I'm liking it this beside as hot as hot. I'm in the car on your demand, 'cause I'm a fan of your motherly cans. Singing a song for you, it's not. Hey guys, today I am going to be making a really, really exciting video and I've been waiting for this video for like a very long time. So it's so much fun to sit down and film this for you guys. So as you probably have seen in the title, I am going to be moving to Spain. Not actually like moving, moving, like living there for the rest of my life with my family kind of moving, but I'm going on a foreign exchange year to Spain. Like what? It sounds so cool in my head to say that I'm actually going to Spain. Oh my god. Um, so in less than two months, I will be standing at the airport in Helsinki, waving goodbye to my family and leaving Finland for about 10 months. Oh my god. Like, it kind of freaks me out, but I'm so excited at the same time. So a lot of you guys probably know what a foreign exchange year is. It's basically when you go to another country um, and you live in a host family and you like you basically have your life there, you go to school there, you have friends there, learn the language or the culture or whatever basically. Um, and you can do that for I think three months, six months and a year uh, if you do it through like an organization. And I'm gonna do it for a year which isn't actually a year, it's ten months. Um, and I'm so excited. I I'm gonna say that I'm excited so many times throughout this video. So I'm sorry about that. So I'm basically going to Madrid in Spain, the capital, um, and I'm very excited. <laughs> Again, I'm very excited, all right? I'm gonna tell you guys all about the before stuff of uh, going on an exchange year because I wanna make this kind of a series, or like, I don't know if it's gonna be a series, but I'm gonna um, kind of make update videos throughout my year in Spain. I wanna make at least one video before I leave, which is this one. Then I want to make uh, like update videos every now and then and other types of videos that you guys want to see like that has to do with exchange and then I want to make at least one video um, when I get back home kind of telling you what it was like leaving the country and what it's like to be back home. So uh, I'm very excited and this is something that I think could help a lot of people and if I would have had something like this to watch it would have helped me a lot when I was about to um, figure out where I wanted to go on exchange. So that's why I'm kind of making these. Plus it's gonna be super fun to like look back on. Okay, so actually like I've always wanted to go to the US for exchange, like I've known since I was little that I wanted to go on exchange. Um, and that's just something everyone just always knew about me that I wasn't gonna stay here, I was gonna leave, okay? Um, so it wasn't a surprise to anyone, I don't think, that was leaving the country, you know? I was always thinking about going to the US, but then we had like a family um, dinner with like our family friends one night and um, like my brother's godmother, she like asked me, so are you going on exchange? And I was like, yeah, I'm thinking about it and stuff. She asked me, where are you going? And I said the US and she was like looking at me like, really? Are you one of those typical girls? Um, and then, like, because that's what I've always, like, thought I, I was I, I eh, what? <laughs> I always thought I was gonna go to the U.S. So she asked me, do you really want to spend, like, a ton of money on, you know, only having fun? Or do you want to spend a ton of money and actually having fun and learning a new language, a new culture, and stuff like that? And that's when I started thinking, wait, should I, like, start considering another country? And I had been on language courses before where I had met people from different countries and I always loved the Spanish people, I always loved their, um, their way of just being people. <laughs> I also really loved the Spanish language, but I had never really thought about like going to Spain or even anything about Spain before this. So, um, but then I just started thinking about it and I started like looking up different organizations during the summer. And I still wasn't sure about where I should go and I like started asking people who were on exchange from my school that year um, and they were all like talking about like so many different things and they were all like saying that it's so fun and and that it will take a long time to learn the language but it's still gonna be worth it at the end and stuff. But when school started I still wasn't sure and I still didn't know where I wanted to go. You can choose where you want to go uh, in a country but also you can just let the organization put you somewhere. Um, and I was like kind of asking my Spanish friends like where 
where do they live, do they recommend the place and stuff and a lot of them just said that Madrid would be like the best place to go if you like want to actually learn Spanish because there's a lot of dialects in the other places um, plus like if you go to Barcelona they don't speak, I mean they do speak Spanish but not as much as in the other places because they have an own language. I still didn't know if I wanted to go to the US or Spain so when school started, I kind of just, like, I had tons of conversations with my friends about this and my parents and I started to go to interviews at different organizations who send people to exchangers and I just couldn't find the right one. I went to, like, um, Explorious, which is a big one. I went to uh, YFU, which is, um, I didn't actually have an interview there, I just went on, like, a like a meeting type thing. Oh, then I also went to STS and when they like finished the interview they were like, alright, so um, do you have anything else to tell us? And I was always like, um, yeah, so basically I have a disease, I have Crohn's disease, which needs to be taken care of obviously in that country. And then they were like, alright, um, we'll get back to you. Most of them didn't even like call me back. One organization sent me Oh, I also talked to a AFS, yeah, if anyone cares. Those are like the big companies. Yeah, so I think it was STS or AFS, I can't remember which one it was, um, that sent me like an email saying that I should tell more about the disease and then I could um, maybe go on an exchange here with them. But no, no one else ever called me back, which I think is pretty bad. <laughs> you know, if you're an organization, you should at least say that, sorry, this is too much work for us, like, we can't take you as an, for an exchange student. And then I would have been, all right, you know, thank you for your help or something, you know? But they didn't, and that's just kind of disre bleh, 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 disrespectful in my opinion. But I'm not going with any of those because then one of the, like in our school, we had tons of exchange students who had been on exchange last year. They had like a, like information thing about exchange years um, for everyone who was interested and then one girl went with this um, pretty small organization called TR. Um, I don't know what they're called in other countries. When you go to Spain, you go through a big organization called Inter Hispania. Um, so they kind of like work with them. So she just told me about them and they are amazing. I'm so happy like I talked to her about that and um, that she helped me because I really didn't know which organiza organization I was going to go with if she hadn't told me about them because no one else wanted me. <laughs> I'm going with them, pretty small organization. I also told one of my other friends about them. So she's also going with them to Spain. We're not going to the same place though. So yeah, that's basically like the, the progress. Um, but at this point, I didn't know yet where I wanted to go. Um, just at some point it just like kind of clicked for me where I wanted to go and it just felt more right to go to Spain basically. And I haven't regretted my choice, of course. There's a part of me that feels like, oh my god, it will be so fun in like the USA and I wouldn't have to worry about anything because I already know the language. But I'm going to develop so much more and I'm going to be more grateful, I think, for going to Spain. Oh, actually a few months ago, I got the, like my host family, um, I basically got a letter. It was basically the morning and... I was like doing my makeup up here and I was almost done with it but I got letters every now and then about like different things that I had to read through and stuff so I wasn't like sure about that it was gonna be my host family but then I went downstairs and I opened the letter and it says good news from Spain we've found your family or something like that in Finnish and I was like oh my god like my heart started beating so fast and I started like going through, there was like pictures of my host family and like a letter from them and just other like information about them and the school I was gonna attend and stuff like that. I just got so excited that I started crying and my makeup was ruined, so you know. <laughs> they just seem amazing, like the family seems amazing. I haven't talked that much to them yet. I've just like been messaging the mom a little bit on Facebook and stuff, but yeah, and they've like had exchange students before so they know what it's like and stuff. Like I'm basically gonna have a host mom, um, two older brothers and a younger sister and a dog. And like the school is very close to where they live. It just gets me like so excited thinking about it. Um, but obviously I know it's gonna be super hard also to go on exchange, you know, why wouldn't it be? Um, so of course there's a part of me that's a little bit scared but at the same time like most of me is just excited because I know it's going to be 
probably the best year of my life if everything goes as planned obviously and with the hospital thing I already have a hospital and oh by the way I forgot oh my god I forgot to say how I chose to go to Madrid so basically my doctor gave me two options Barcelona and Madrid where she had colleagues so I chose Madrid because there you actually speak Spanish yeah now you know that uh, I, I completely forgot to say that. So I'm leaving on the 4th of September, which is in less than two months, and some of my friends are already leaving like this month, which is pretty crazy. But in Spain, school starts so late, so um, that's why I'm leaving a little bit later. And then I come back in the end of June next year. I'm just very excited to leave, uh, even though I'm obviously gonna miss my friends here and my family and my own culture, my just, everything because obviously I'm gonna live a different life over there with different foods and different stuff you know it's a lot different um, but I'm very excited so I think that's it if you guys are interested in anything let me know I'll definitely answer your questions thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you're excited for this stuff thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys